Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 19th of March to the 23rd of March 2018. As always, starting with the US dollar index and oil, we're going to run through a number of markets looking at the key level of support and resistance in the process. And we're also going to be highlighting some of the targets that we're going to be looking for in the coming week and also in the weeks ahead. So I hope you're all having a nice weekend. Let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index, you can see last week we actually started the week above the key area of support over here. And we were looking for a pullback into this area. And you can see we did actually have a pullback into this area and a slight push to the upside as well. Now, two important things to note about the US dollar going into next week. One is that, as you can see, pretty much all the way back here, pretty much towards the 20th of February. You can see February, 20th of February. We've pretty much just been going sideways. I mean, the US dollar hasn't really gone anywhere. Uh, we've been kind of ranging. We tried to break out over here, but we ended up falling all the way back down. Uh, and so it's actually been fairly tough conditions for the last few weeks. But we do know that ranges like this don't last forever. And that brings us on to the second very important thing to discuss going into next week in terms of US dollar is that we have next week FOMC on Wednesday at 6 p.m. UK time. And there is expected to be an interest rate rise. Now, this, of course, brings with it the heightened possibility of a push to the upside in the US dollar. So just bear those in mind and we'll reference back to that as well uh, as we go through them. But it's something important. I mean, certainly if you trade on lower time frames, uh, trading tight stops around Wednesday evening, six o'clock is going to be uh, asking for trouble, in my opinion. But we'll, we'll reference those again, as I said, as we go through. In terms of the actual technicals of the US dollar index, you can see we did get a pullout and we started to push up towards the next key area of resistance to the upside. So very simply put, we start the week again above the key area of broken resistance over here, turning support, turning support, turning support, almost in this area coming down. Don't forget these are, you can put a buffer zone around these. And so very simply, we're just looking for another correction going into this week. And any pullback in this area is going to be a great chance to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs in the US dollar index. If we decide to trade the US dollar index, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. But if we do, we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the target next key of resistance at the 91.02. Next, we have crude oil. Now, last week, we started the week just pushing into the key area of broken support and resistance in this area and we said what we wanted to see was a break higher okay because we started the week up in this area above the key area of support and resistance so we were looking further advanced the upside in oil however we cautioned against the fact that this could be a deeper test of the resistance and what we wanted to see was a further break up okay some accumulation and then a move like this. And as you can see, in fact, it did just turn into a bit of a deeper test. Now, oil is another example of a market here, similar to uh, quite a lot of the markets actually over the last two weeks. You can see really hasn't really gone anywhere at all since uh, back here at the end of February. It's just been in this kind of corrective pattern. So again, tough trading conditions, especially if you're looking for the big moves, this is where you make the real money. OK, these kind of moves, even these kind of moves. So a little bit of tough trading conditions, but we do ultimately start the week back above this key area of broken support and resistance. In this case, broken as resistance. So ultimately, no real opportunity in oil last week. However, going into this week, we are looking for perhaps even again, another little further push up just to confirm this and then a pullback. And if we get a pullback, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns and a pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support in this area. It would be a great place to start to look to initiate longs up towards the next key area of resistance to the upside at the 63.87. Now, we do have a slightly longer term target up here as well. If we can get a break through this key area of resistance, we will, of course, be looking up towards target two. But this may take uh, a number of weeks. Just bear that in mind. So the first pair we're going to look at is euro dollar. Now, last week we started the week underneath this broken area of broken support, turning as resistance once, twice. And in fact, you can see it failed to hold as resistance and we ended up breaking through. We then pulled back. 
tested the support and we failed again at support and now we've come back to test its resistance. So we really just had from last week this just kind of crisscross, this up and down, okay, barely any movement at all. And you can see even the euro uh, has been fairly corrective as well. However, very simply put, going into this week, we are now looking for a pullback, a retest of broken support over here turning resistance. And if we get that, we're going to start to look to initiate shorts down towards the first key area of support to the downside in target one, which we had set from last week at the 1.22100. And ultimately, if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking for the second key area of support and target two to the downside at the 1.20890. Next, we have pound dollar. Now, last week, we were actually sitting out a bit of a resistance area in this point. And we had pushed down and you can see ultimately all we did last week was go up and then down somewhat similar to in the euro. So, again, not a huge amount of movement, uh, certainly not in the overall direction. As you can see, we're looking at this as a big continuation pattern to the downside. That was a bear flag. However, going into this week, very simply put, we had a break back above and you can see from this key area of support and resistance, this kind of zones here, holding it over here, breaks back down, pulls back up, breaks back down. You can see we broke above here and we're actually sitting here. So very simply put, going into next week, this is a great place to technically start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And if we get those bullish formations and patterns in this area, that's going to be a great opportunity to start to look to go long and take long positions up towards the next key area of resistance, the upside and target one. The 1.4066. But just bear in mind that we do have that interest rate decision coming out of the US next week, which does heighten the risk of US dollar strength. And therefore, this support area here could come under pressure and could even fail uh, off the back of that interest rate decision. So just bear that in mind if you are looking at trading pound dollar next week that we do have the FOMC coming out at six o'clock. Next, we have US dollar Japanese yen. Now, last week, we started the week up in this area and we were just looking for a pullback down towards this key area of broken resistance turn support. And you can see we did pull back into here, but we actually broke through and pulled back and we pretty much ended the week around this area. Now, going into next week, very simply put, we are looking for further declines potentially in the US dollar yen because we start the week below this key area of broken support turning resistance. And we're right at that area now where it was a good place to technically start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And if we get those bearish formations and patterns, we're going to start to look down towards the first key area of support to the downside and target one at the 105.183. And if we get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards target two and the next key area of support to the downside at the 104.331. Now, just remember, again, if you go short in the US dollar yen, you are selling the US dollar. And we do have FOMC on Wednesday. So coming into Wednesday, we may need to consider our shorts, okay, whether open or looking to initiate shorts. We may need to consider these on Wednesday because there is a heightened risk of US dollar strength on Wednesday evening. The other thing to remember is if we do get a break back above this key area of resistance, you can simply just switch the bias, okay, and look for these resistance areas to the upside. Next, we have Aussie dollar. Now, last week, we started the week above broken resistance turning support, and we were looking for moves up towards the next key area resistance to the upside at 0 0.79145. And as you can see, we actually tagged this level and we just rolled over as soon as we hit here, took out the first target to the upside from last week. We just rolled over. We came all the way back down below this key area of support. OK, try to hold a support and failed. So very simply put, going into next week, we are looking for a pullback, a retest of broken support turning resistance. And if we get this price action, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And if we start to get those bearish formations and patterns in this area, it's going to be, as I said, a great place to start to look for shorts down towards the next key area of support and target one to the downside at 0 0.76973. And ultimately, if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key area of support and target two at the 0 0.76341. Next, we have New Zealand dollar. Now, last week, we started the week just at this key area of broken support over here, turning resistance. And we're looking for further declines, but in fact, we ended up crossing and this failed to hold as resistance. Okay, pushed up, pulled back, tested the support, came up, and it was the second resistance area to the upside, not where we started the week here. You can see where we had this capitulation and this big sell-off to the downside. 
We are approaching the first target here set from last week at the 0 0.71876. But you can see we've got this big extended move down. So ideally what we'd like to see going into next week is a pullback and a correction into this area possibly even a pullback and a retest of broken support over here turning resistance but a pullback anywhere in this area would be good and that's going to allow us to get a nice risk to reward so we can start to look for bearish formations and patterns and if we get those bearish formations and patterns we're going to start to look to initiate shorts down towards the first target and the next key area support to the downside from last week at 0 0.71876 and if we can get a breakthrough here, we're going to be looking down towards target two and the next key area of support to the downside at the 0 0.71343. Next, we have US dollar franc. Now, last week we started the week above this key area of broken resistance. So we're looking for it to turn support. And you can see the US dollar franc is a great example of how a lot of the markets went nowhere last week. You can see pullback tested the level, broke through, tested as resistance, came down. Pulled back as resistance, came down, failed as resistance, came down, tested the support. So we pretty much started the week here, pretty much ended the week here after just kind of going down and up. Now, very simply put, going into this week, we are looking for further advances in the US dollar. And so what we'd be looking for is you can see we just missed the target from last week. We're just very simply similar to how we started last week, looking for a pullback, a retest of broken support and resistance. OK, support over here, broken resistance, resistance and then support. If we can get a retest, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking, first of all, up towards the first target, which is fairly close at a 0 0.95511. But ultimately, if we can get a break through here, which is what we're going to be looking for, then we're going to be looking up towards the next key of resistance and target two to the upside at the 0 0.96602. Next, we have US dollar CAD. Now, last week, we started the week pulling back down towards this. We broke this key of resistance over here, and we were looking for a pullback, preferably a retest of broken resistance turning support but you can see we did get a pullback we didn't quite come all the way back down to recess this broken resistance area however we did start to get a strong push to the upside and we actually took out the first target from last week which was here and we actually started to make our way up towards the next key area resistance up here so very simply put going into this week we're looking for a pullback a retest in this area of broken resistance turning support and this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns and if we get those bullish formations and patterns this is going to be a great place to start to look to initiate longs up towards the first target and the next key of resistance to the upside at the 1.31709 and ultimately if we can get a breakthrough here just as we got a breakthrough here we're going to be looking up towards target two and the next key area of resistance to the upside at the 1.32276 and finally, we have gold. Now, last week, we started the week in this area and we were looking for a pullback and a retest of broken, as you can see over here, support broken, turning resistance. And we did, in fact, get this price action. It was fairly nice price action in terms of this resistance area here. And we did sell off from this area as well, coming down close towards the first target from last week. But even in gold, as you can see, even with this break, this retest, we still really failed to go anywhere. I mean, gold is another market which has been fairly choppy and fairly rangy as well. So very simply put, going into next week, we are still looking for further declines down towards the target of the 1307.25. If we get a pullback anywhere into this area, possibly even a retest of the resistance, but anywhere into this area, this is going to provide a great place to look for shorts. Again, down towards the target, which we're approaching from last week and the first key area of support to the downside at the 1307.25. And ultimately looking for a break through here down towards the next key area of support to the downside at the 1299.36. So that is it for me for this week, guys. A couple of really important things to note just before we wrap up here is, of course, that uh, we have had a bit of a choppy market over the last two weeks, but this is probably because we have the FOMC decision next week on Wednesday. Okay, so you're probably finding a lot of the big players are holding off until next Wednesday before they really start to put the money into the markets. So with that being the case, just be prepared that we could start to see a lot of these uh, choppy markets breaking out possibly on Wednesday as we get some volatility from FOMC. Please bear in mind that that event is happening at 6 p.m. UK time and it is definitely something uh, to be watching out for next week. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. A big thank you, of course, to all of you who do that on a regular basis. We appreciate that very much. And a big thank you to those of you who have already subscribed so far. 
I hope you all have a fantastic week next week. Please bear in mind FOMC on Wednesday. Take care, have a great weekend, and don't forget to trade safely.